Welcome to A Word of Hope for the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. My name is Father Brendan Curran, Dominican promoter for justice and peace for the United States and Canada. And it's Independence Day. In the midst of the fireworks and the barbecues, let us remember and reflect deeply on an appropriate reading today. From the second reading, St. Paul writes to the Corinthians, I rather boast more gladly of my weaknesses in order that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Hardships, persecutions, and constraints for the sake of Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong? How paradoxical for us. How is it for us to understand this? But how appropriate on our nation's holiday. Over 240 years since our first Independence Day, our nation has been in the midst of its own struggles in living up to its dreams, in living its spirit. I think about that beautiful and powerful gift in the gates of the New York Harbor, the Statue of Liberty. We know it well. At the foot of the statue, we read the poetry of Emma Lazarus, who says, give me your poor, your tired, your homeless, seeking to be free. That's the spirit. That's the spirit of the struggle we've lived with. From the 1700s, the fight of independence, 1800s, the fight of the country's most gravest sin of slavery, of the 1900s, and the fight in midst of world wars. And now 9-11, And now the pandemic, and now Black Lives Matter, we continue with our struggle to this day. St. Paul writes the words of inspiration to the early fledgling community of Corinth. They were struggling. They were the oppressed. They struggled even to have their dignity. Today, we're invited to recognize and respect that the journey of Christ was always always about the outcast, those left alone, abandoned, the stranger, the foreigner, the lepers, the Samaritans, those who didn't belong. Jesus spent his time with those people, with the other people, with those left on the side, reminding them constantly that they belong And they are formed and carved in God's very own image and likeness. So as we gather in celebrating our nation's holiday, let us hear not only the sound of fireworks and the smell of the sausage and the grill. Let it be the smell and the scent and the sounds of our own vibrant action and our words as people of faith that we continue this story of faith to recognize the dignity and respect that Christ calls us to be. Happy Independence Day, and let that be a word of hope.